Hi, just a quick video blog today. A um, couple of things. Yesterday I got called home at short notice. Apologies that I had to move. Um, a couple of appointments. We'll get everybody rescheduled for next week. I've got space next week, even though I'm flat out. I've managed to create some space, so that'll all get sorted. Uh, the other thing, I wanted to deal with something um, along the lines of, you know, what people think hypnosis is and hypnosis isn't. The other night I put an event on and I had 30 people in the room, got everybody relaxed, eyes closed, feeling wonderful, recharged, took them all to a, a lovely place. So I guess the point of what I'm saying is if, if 30 people, 30 complete strangers are happy to come and sit in a cafe on an evening um, and go through that completely non-threatening experience and I've had really good feedback from it, there isn't really anything to be scared of. So anyway, here's a little snippet of what we did the other night, and this is, that's as scary as, as, um, as hypnosis can possibly be. Have a lovely Easter, take care. We're gonna do a 20 minute chill out. For those people who've been to me for therapy, you will have done something like this, something similar to this, a version of this. So anyone that wants to, all you need to do, your total investment in the next 20 minutes would be to close your eyes and put your hands on the down. <laughs> Anyone that wishes to participate, nobody has to participate. You can join in any time you want to. You can close your eyes now. You can not close your eyes at all. That's absolutely fine. Carol's finishing a coffee. She's telling me. Ask him to, to buy time. Put your coffee down, Carol. Come on, you paid the money for this. Julie. start just like we did the last time and our destination is going to be different our journey can only be pleasant so listen once again just listen to your own breathing and this is something that you can do in your own time any time of the day or night listening to your own breathing. I know it's simple, but don't underestimate its power. Don't underestimate the power of your own mind. Remember the books and the balloons that moved your hands? The books and balloons that didn't exist that moved your hands. That's what you can do. It's suggestion and power of your own mind. So just listen. that we're repeating this. This is how easy it is to train your brain to do something positive. How do you teach a child to read? Repetition. How do you teach the alphabet? Repetition. How do you train your mind to go to a wonderful place? Repetition. If you don't give yourself the opportunity So give yourself that opportunity to listen to your breathing. If you want to go to 
sleep without sleep. right or wrong in this. And this next few minutes, it's a powerful exercise in clearing your own mind. And any words, thoughts, images, questions that come into your mind, as they start to form a sentence or an image behind your eyes, because we are visual creatures, just let them, let them slide away, slide to the left or to the right, it doesn't matter. In fact, you can use that imagination further. Imagine that you're looking at a clear blue sky. Thoughts, words, questions, images, anything that comes to your mind, anything that starts to interrupt your peace and quiet. Imagine that it's a bird flying away in that clear blue sky, always flying away, swirling on the breeze, never stopping, never landing, never resting. Anything that you don't need, anything that you would like to declutter tonight. Imagine it's a bird. And as you stand watching that, that bird flying away, there can be one, there can be none, or there can be a hundred. And you don't need to know what those birds are. Because your subconscious mind, through simple language patterns, your subconscious mind will let go of whatever it wants to let go of. You don't need to know what those, those birds represent. So whether you can see one or ten words, any, any memories, any thoughts, any emotions, any feelings, anything at all that you choose right now because you are in control of your own thoughts. Imagine in front of you there's a box. Imagine as you look into that box that each of those leaves is something you'd like to get rid of, or something you'd like to forget, or something you'd like to get past. And as you look at those leaves, imagine, imagine if it was that simple, using your imagination, to attach any thoughts, feelings, memories, to attach them to those leaves. Imagine 
faccia è stato sempre perché sei stato sempre allora quando ti immagini come una breeze a gentle soothing breeze blowing at your back I don't want you to look into that box that box that represents everything or anything that you'd like to get rid of large or small I don't need to know what those things are you know that's anything at all and it's all in that box, all contained in that box. Imagine that it's so simple. Whatever thoughts or feelings or anything at all that's wound you up, annoyed you, anything at all, from your present, from your past, anything at all is in that box of leaves. shake it and let all the leaves fall out and blow away and watch them blow away further and further rolling along the ground further away taking with them anything and everything that you don't need anything and everything that you don't need anything and everything large or small you don't need further and further further away, the further away, smaller and smaller, those things become less important, so you reprogram your own powerful mind to let those things go away. I want you to imagine now Imagine that you are stood on a beach, and the beach is made of pebbles. Pebbles that crunch underfoot. The pebbles slope gently down to a lake. And the water is absolutely crystal and clear. And it's smooth. Smooth like glass, like a mirror, and it reflects every glimmer of the sunlight, and it stretches away into the distance. And at the end of the light, there are hills and trees, and it's beautiful and it's tranquil. I want you to look down at those pebbles, those billion different colours, sizes. And I want you to pick up one. Pebble. And I don't need to know what that pebble looks like, but your subconscious mind will now fill in the blanks and you will know what that pebble looks like. It could be rough and sharp and gritty, or it could be beautiful and smooth and oval. Where it's been worn smooth by hundreds of years of weather. <coughs> I want you to look at that pebble. In your mind's eye, with your powerful imagination that right now is fully engaged. I want you to look at that pebble. You know what that pebble looks like. And I want you to squeeze that pebble as tight as you can. Squeeze it as tight as you possibly can until your knuckles go white. And then open your hand and look at the pebble again. And the pebble is exactly the same. It's changed. The pebble is exactly the same. So squeeze it again. Squeeze it tighter. Squeeze it with both hands. Put both hands around it and squeeze it as tight. Tighter than that. Tighter. Imagine squeezing it even tighter. 
now open your hands and look at that purple bit. Look at that purple is. Exactly the same as it was. In fact, if you had 50 years to stand on that pebble beach in front of the lake, you couldn't change that pebble. You couldn't change that stone. You couldn't change that thing. 